Five, six, seven, eight. Da 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 Oh, we're not doing Chicago? I'm gonna show you how to style your hair with a curling iron in like five minutes or less. So basically what you need to start with this is a curling iron and it's ready. Basically, I'm just gonna run a brush through my hair and we're gonna get started. I do have a heat protectant in here already, so you definitely wanna heat protect your hair. So I'm gonna just take the front of my hair and clip it away. So I'm just gonna do like a sexy beachy wave. So now that I've got the front clipped away, I'm just gonna like kind of get the back. <sighs> so really it's the same deal every time. All you're gonna do, you take this fucking curling iron, you're gonna heat that shit up from root to tip. Then I feed it through. See how the ends are out over here? Because your ends are the oldest and they're drier and they've been through it. So you wanna try to like leave your ends out because they need to be curled the least. Whereas the root holds the curl the worst because it's the healthiest. So now I'm gonna go over to this side. So you're gonna heat the whole section. And I find that the curl really does turn out better if you heat up the whole section first before you like feed it through to this part because it's just like ready to take the curl on better once you heat it up. Yes, bitch, come on, come through beach waves. Okay, so now that I just have this, I'm just gonna take this chunk over here. And then on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna do this middle section. So this is one way of doing it where you basically go from underneath your hair and work your way up. On this side of my hair, I'm not gonna use clips to section from the underneath. I'm just gonna take sections from the top and then I'm gonna curl it and move it out of my way. Yes. Today I'm gonna do curls all kind of different directions because I don't want it to be too polished and too perfect. I don't want it to look like I spent a ton of time on my hair. I just want it to look like I kind of woke up like this. So I am kind of doing it messy. And then because I'm not, I'm working from the top down on the front, so you'll see I just took that curl and I flipped it up and over my head so that I can work with this hair underneath it. Sections are important because if you just go to, if you do too big of sections with your curls or with your curling iron or really your flat iron, it's not gonna work. Like you can't really take more hair than what your curling iron can control. So that's how I did that. And, you, and kind of the way I think about it is almost like you're doing like a beach ball section. So try this out. Tag me on your gram. And I wanna know what your issues are. What are you struggling with on this style? I wanna help. This is me just kind of smoothing out the ends. And now I'm just taking it all out and making sure I got it all. And here I'm gonna do the same technique again. So this is gonna be one column and this is gonna be the other column. If you have finer hair, do more sections there. My hair is finer around the hairline, obviously. And whenever I'm too much in a rush, I make it look like really chunky and it makes it look even thinner because I do too big a section. So do, like for me, I at least try to get in like two because it just, it really does make my hair look thicker like all day. And then this, I just had this last section. Now because this hair is finer and more fragile and it curls easier, I'm not gonna heat up this whole section because a lot of times our hairlines, it just gets broken and upset because we just are overheating it, over ironing it, whether it's a curling iron or a flat iron. So I'm not gonna heat up this section, but I really paid special attention to make sure I had heat protectant, especially on this hairline. Actually, I'm gonna do a different wave. I'm gonna hold the iron open and I'm just gonna quickly wrap it around, work it down, let it out, and just kind of pull. So when you're gonna go and break up your waves, I like to use a cream pomade or an oil, something to just give your ends a little definition. So I emulsified that cream in my hands and I'm gonna start in the back and I'm gonna concentrate on my ends. And then once I've got some product on my ends, I'm gonna to start to work it up to my root and shake out my hair. And then you can even take this Sheila Stotts brush and start to brush out some of those waves. You can play around with your part if you want to. I do kind of think I want it to be center part today. I feel very gorgeous with the center part. So after this part, sometimes you will just want to like make sure that you didn't miss anything. 
see if something needs to be touched up. I do just wanna pay a little bit more attention to these ends. Ah! I love it though. You could also even like on day two, put a little half up, you can switch your part over. So much to do, but I hope you loved this technique. Super fun, it's easy. If you're newer to working with curling irons, trust me, it's hard at first. You get better at it the longer you do it. Practice makes perfect. And if you're really overwhelmed, just make your section smaller. I hope you love this video. Comment below what you want me to do more of. What do you wanna see next? And maybe if you like this video, you could click on this one or click this one. Click any of them. Love y'all so much. Thanks for coming. Bye.